you say that your company makes people's lives easier by uh, quickly making uh, short, small amounts of money available to them uh, very conveniently. What do you say to the charge that you're basically just a legalized loan shark? On a monthly basis, we help people hundreds of thousands of times across the UK to solve short-term cash flow problems. And so short-term cash flow problems induce massive amounts of stress for people. And so the customer satisfaction that we that, that customers talk about is very real because we solve very real problems for people and we genuinely do it to the best of our ability. Can I come to your uh, contention that the people who you loan money to are, are not vulnerable? I think you described them as middle of the road employed. Um, when one of our journalists, Amelia Gentleman, wrote a major piece about Wonga uh, a few months ago, she came to you guys to talk about it and you asked her to listen to some of the stories of customers who you felt were happy with what you'd done. You sent her the names of four customers, uh, she contacted them all. Two of those customers, um, one of them was a nurse um, who, because of uh, a sickness, had had to have her salary reduced. She couldn't work the same hours. Another case study that you sent uh, to uh, Amelia was an unemployed person who was desperately trying to make ends meet on, 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 on benefits. Uh, how are those not vulnerable people? How are they middle of the road people? The story that Amelia wrote worried me. And we spent a lot of time thinking about it we reflected on it, we've tightened our systems since then in ways that would make it more difficult to make, to make those, you know, in which case we'd be more, much less likely to make those same lending decisions again. But one has to understand that we're dealing with hundreds of thousands of people a month that we are providing loans to. We're only accepting about a third of applications, so it's very selective. That me, yeah, when one looks at the scale of it, the vast majority of people are using Wonga in the way in which it was intended. So they're using Wonga as a short-term gap occasionally and find massive value in it. Occasionally, we make mistakes. We apologize for that. We try and rectify it. We, and we operate in the most empathetic way that we can. But to clarify then, Two of those case studies which you provided to us, you think those people should not have been lent money by your company? They, 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 without getting into individual, individual cases, right? I think there are situations, and we, we, we've been learning as we go, as any strong organization you know, ought to do. And so as we learn, we get better at what we do. And we would make different decisions today to the decisions we made then. And without getting into the specifics of those exact cases, we try our best to avoid situations where we aren't helping people make their lives better. I'm a little puzzled because you say you don't want to get into specific individual situations, but these are cases that you presented to us. You, you've told me that you felt troubled by them and as a result tightened up your procedures, but you won't say that your company shouldn't have lent to them. No, we, we're troubled by the situation that the people were in in those particular situations, right? So the, tr the situations are deeply troubling. The, the challenge but one you, but has- But it's okay to lend to them. No, the challenge is when is it appropriate to lend to them? When isn't it appropriate to lend to them? It's not, it's within that context, right? And so if the context is one where somebody is vulnerable, then we need to find a different way as a society to help the people get out of that problem, right? So just withdrawing credit from somebody who is vulnerable and having no access to cash isn't necessarily a better solution for that person right there and then. You say you were troubled by them, but you, but, but, but you won't specifically say that you won't lend to those people. I'm, I'm puzzled by why you won't go that last uh, inch. We only accept about a third of applicants. So we're rejecting more people than we're accepting every single day. And so the system is getting better and better at doing it. The context, one, one, we need to describe the exact situation and look at the exact situation in context of the person's life, and then we'd be able to tell you if, this is, if, the, if, the, if we would lend to the person or not. You, you're not a morally neutral company. A, a bit like Google, you suggest that your, your mission in, in, in the world is to, to make things easier, better for people. Um, and yet you are a recipient of this extraordinary amount of, of criticism. A lot, a lot of people out there who think that actually you cause great distress to quite a number of people. Do you ever lose any sleep about this? Do you ever worry that actually what you're doing might actually be making people's life quite difficult? Yeah, you know, we do really believe that we're helping to improve people's lives. And 
that's absolutely what we're trying to do. The, the context of where financial services goes and how that collides with the digital revolution is significant. And what we're trying to do here is provide the most transparency we possibly can and trust people to help us help them make better decisions.